What's up guys, it's Brian from Beat Turismo and I'm just out here driving. I'm sorry, the windshield's a little dirty, but I was, I was doing some spot treatment on the roof and I rinsed it off the roof, but I guess I didn't rinse it sufficiently off the windshield. Anyway, it's day two of um, the isolation or whatever you want to call it, the isolation of 2020, the coronavirus. We're out here. Still getting some stuff done. I still have appointments to get to, so I'm bringing you along for that. Uh, I just wanted to share a little bit of what I'm finding. I'll take you into the store later. We're gonna stop in Sam's because yeah, I actually do need some things. Uh, I'm not really hoarding anything. Uh, I mean, I do have about a, you know, a 10 day supply or 20 day supply of some things, 30 day supply of some other things. But, um, you know, there's a lot of uncertainty about when we're gonna be able to get out again. So just want to make sure I have enough stuff and take this opportunity to do some baking, uh, do some at-home cooking and eating, which we're, we're really accustomed to anyway, but um, now more so. Um, I, I'm trying to make some sourdough bread. I've got a sourdough starter going on at home. And uh, yeah, that smells terrible, but um, it's, it, it should be a good result. I'm gonna use it to make some sourdough pizzas on Friday. Today's Tuesday, and uh, just if you're new to this uh, kind of, or if you're new to my channel, my videos, I'm located in York, Pennsylvania. Right now I'm driving into Lancaster, Pennsylvania, and uh, I gotta go up to the Lebanon VA for a health-related appointment. I do not have the coronavirus. I may have it one time, I'm not sure, but, but from what I'm reading about the symptoms, I, I don't think so. I think I just had a bronchitis or something anyway I'm gonna take you along and show you what I find along the road so right now here's where we are uh, we're driving Route 30 into, into Lancaster and then we're gonna I guess jump on 501 and go north I decided not to take the turnpike because um, well they're not accepting cash which is fine I've got an easy pass but I just thought uh, that wouldn't be a lot of fun to go on the turnpike because as far as I know they're still doing speed enforcement in places and there's less cars now so it just doesn't sound like a good plan I thought it'd be better to take some side roads so anyway here we are on 30 headed east and this is a road where um, I think I think you get 500,000 cars uh, on this road a day that gives you some idea. Um, they crossed the bridge that we just went across. And right now I'd say traffic volume is light for 11:14. Uh, it's been a while since I've made this drive this early in the day you know, on a Tuesday, but typically Tuesdays are pretty heavy trucking days around here. And uh, I just don't think that's the case today. So I'm just driving along here trying to see what's open and what's not. And I'm in an area that I used to kind of drive through here a lot. And actually what I'm seeing is uh, there's, there's businesses that are closed permanently, which is a bit of a surprise. I see Wawa over there, which if you don't know what Wawa is, you're missing out. But they are um, in Philly. They're kind of a convenience store outside of Philly. It's a gas station kind of a mega gas station. Really, it was the first one that I ever saw in the Lancaster area that had more than 12 pumps. I think they came out with 16 or 20 pumps. Um, just looking at stuff that's open and closed. Hard to tell some of these places, like in here, well, there's Penn Medicine, so they're gonna be open. But these other places, can't tell if they're open or not. Some places are still open and doing, um, you know, you can order at the door and stay outside and get it or just call from home and pick up. You just can't eat inside. So there's still cars in the parking lot and I suppose they're the people that work there. They're trying their best to stay open and at least, you know, keep paying their people and that's, that's awesome. Some places are closed totally, of course. And uh, some places are closed totally and they're still getting paid, so that's really cool of them. If this goes on for a long time, I don't see that lasting, but for now, uh, they're doing it, so that's really great. People still getting their cars fixed. 
not surprised. So I'm out here driving. Um, we're going to be going by a Mannheim Auto Auction. Right here there's a rock quarry, rather infamous. So one of the challenges I'm having today is um, lunch with all the restaurants, dining rooms closed and I do not eat in the car. That means I basically need to find somewhere that has a drive through get the food and then go sit outside somewhere and eat it and it's 47 degrees so it's not exactly um, appealing. I mean I will do it just because I'm not going to eat in the car. I'm not going to do that for Corona or any other situation. I'm just lucky I guess that it's not raining at the moment. So for the most part I just saw the first police officer that was moving. I saw one really close to my house sitting still watching a uh, this one particular intersection that people act stupid at. A lot of hick trucks run the light and stuff. Anyway, um, first one I've seen in motion. I've been I drive pretty normally when I'm on roads like this where there's um, you know two-way traffic and side roads and things like that like yeah if, if I know the road and there's an open stretch like I know beyond this intersection here it's pretty open for like a half mile or something so if I want to speed up to two miles an hour above the speed limit we'll say then that's it's really not a problem just as long as you get to this point and you realize okay there's a side road there somebody could be pulling out if there's not then just keep keep it going but uh well of course i'm behind this truck so i can't do anything but on the highway open it up i mean there shouldn't be any pedestrians out there and uh, there's no cross traffic so go for it that's my motto anyway that's how i that's how i uh that's how I do. So <clears throat> there's been enough traffic that I haven't been able to really go fast on any of the side roads anyway. Not that I really would, but uh, I, I would certainly go faster than 40 through here because there's pretty good visibility. All right, I'm going to stop in the detail shop and just see if there's anything cool that I've never seen that I want. and. Uh, and want to have while we're kind of home and you know able to tackle other projects and uh, yeah, we'll check. detailing world just left the spot they're cool they got way more stuff than i have online so check them out for all kinds of stuff 3d stuff uh even mcguire's which i don't have oh my gosh it's march there's so many bugs Still haven't found any lunch. I'm gonna try to get closer to Lebanon and see what I can find maybe on the way. Yeah, thank you, powering down. So you can of course check me out for the CR Spotless resin system or CR Spotless water deionizer system and replacement resin. You can check out Detailing World if you're looking for something like 3D eraser or I don't know, whatever. Check them out before you just buy it off Amazon though, please. Anyway. Oh, I did buy a little spray bottle. This is this is what they sell in the store. Three bucks, not bad. This is what they call their acid sprayer, which I'm gonna guess is similar to what you'd find at Lowe's. That is a chemical uh, chemical resistance sprayer. And I'm gonna try it out. I'll let you know what I think of it. For three bucks, that's cheaper than Lowe's. If it does the same thing, great. This is my first time driving on to the VA. Medical Center of Lebanon. It's, um, well, it's big. I've only ever been to Coatesville, and Coatesville is big. I thought it was big. It kind of looks like uh, Professor X's school for the gifted at Coatesville. From here, you've got, uh, well, I can't go too fast, and I gotta be careful with the video camera. I'm probably gonna have to put it down because. There's enhanced security in a place like this. So they got lots of buildings and lots of big open spaces. I really enjoy coming here, I have to say. 
checkpoint here. I'm not sure what they're checking for. I'm gonna try to keep the camera running. up at the NBA in Lebanon. Not much to see here. Bushes turn in yellow. It's not technically spring yet, but when those bushes turn yellow, that means it's time to apply your yard weed and feed. The pre-emergents need to get down. Okay, I just went by Trogues to confirm that they are indeed closed. I'm gonna show this off. Disney store is closed. Look at this shopping center. This is the outlets in Hershey. And they're all closed. Just about all closed. Um, not sure what that was about, but the point I'm trying to make here is it's two o'clock in the afternoon on a Tuesday, and normally this place is terrible to try to park in. They've got skinny little spaces and they're all just open to each other. There's not a lot of end spots that are safe. I normally don't like to come here because of that, but I will go to the Starbucks. Anyway, everything here is closed. There is a STI over there. I don't know. It must work here somewhere. Maybe some of the managers are staying in. It looks like there's a store doing some renovations there or about to open, so probably still doing construction there. Completely empty. Wow, this is very unique. I would expect this if we had maybe 20 inches of snow, or I guess that's the way it used to be. Back in the day, you'd have to have 15 or 20 inches of snow and everything would finally shut, but Starbucks is closed, dude. Now, it seems like they've really softened a lot on what opens and what closes during snow. For example, we had five inches of snow. That's all we had this year. And uh, I think the mall closed, the grocery stores closed, like all this stuff closed mad early. And I think the movie theaters might have been open. That was about it. Well, this is Sam's Club in Hershey. Um, relatively empty. I mean, for a Tuesday at 2.30 in the afternoon, maybe, maybe it's kind of normal. All right, I'm gonna take you in and see what it looks like. Clearly way better off at this store than they are at the one I normally go to. Still got coffee, and old, old packaging. No paper towels. This is a water left. The cheap stuff, and then you can get the deer park, plentiful deer park for five bucks a case. So they got loads of it, so that's nice. I just wanted to get some to dump on my windshield, so I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> kind of rude at a time like this. 
They got loads of water here. They're just not moving it out to the other spot because probably because it comes right off the truck right over there. Look at that. All that empty. This is empty. I mean, not everything's empty, but just a lot of stuff is empty. I feel like there's none of the potatoes we get, but there's yogurt. Plenty of yogurt. They didn't have any yogurt in York. All this empty. Got crescent rolls, but I don't know what was supposed to be here. They don't got it. No cinnamon rolls to be found. Hey, they got butter. They got a lot of butter. That's good. No milk. No milk. I saw so many people eat broccoli before before this. It all is empty. Almost empty. And we still got stuff out here, of course. I don't know what this is supposed to look like. Maybe it's normally like this. You got there. So in all, a pretty normal experience until until I get outside. I mean, I know what to expect now. It's been this way for about a week. I I got some more stuff in the car. Speaking of the car, I can't tell if they're vlogging. I guess we'll find out in a second. It looks like he's just taking pictures. I'm not sure what the yellow is doing. Uh, somebody's smoking. Here we go. This video is not sponsored by Chick-fil-A, but Chick-fil-A is open. They just have a funky, funky system. I, you know what? It's not really that funky. It's pretty normal. Um, the difference was, instead of anybody being, in, there's nobody inside, of course. So all the people, I guess, that would normally be outside are outside. So they got people working. So that's good. Got in and out of there like faster than ever and then I just sat in the, on the ground in the parking lot and ate off to Lego <laughs> Barbecue is still doing a uh, mobile order or come and pick it up or whatever you call it. All this stuff closed, not staples, they're essential. I just wanted to share what I saw as I drove around today and my experience with the VA and stuff and I uh, hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, yeah, go ahead, hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel if you want to see 
other videos of mine. They're not all gonna be like this though. I can say that for sure. But uh, thanks for watching. Always remember to keep right and pass left.